All right then, gang, so this is going pretty well. We're making some progress here. But before we look at any more Beautify components, what I want to do is take a quick sidestep and set up these different routes, one for projects, we've got the homepage or the dashboard, and one for team. So first of all, let's head on over to the code, and I'm going to rename the home component to dashboard, like so, since that's what it's called, right? Now we also want a route or component for the project, so let's rename this to projects, and then we want one more, and that is going to be for the team, so let's call this team.view. Now, if you have a look at the browser at the minute, then it's going to error because it's looking for the home component and the about component, but it can't find those anymore. So what we need to do now is go into the router file and configure these routes. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff right here. And instead of home over here, I'm going to call this dashboard, this route, and we're going to load in the dashboard component instead of the home component. This needs to be changed to dashboard as well over here. So let's do that, dashboard.view. So now the dashboard should be working. We no longer have about, instead we'd like to go to forward slash projects to see all your projects. And then this will be called projects. We also need to import that as well. So import projects, and this is gonna be from, and it's dot forward slash views, forward slash projects. Okay, so now we can add that component to this route right here. And by the way, if you don't really understand what I'm doing here when it comes to setting up routes, then I suggest you go check out my Vue.js course. The link is down below and that will clear things up for you. So finally, we want to set up another route. The path for this is going to be forward slash team and the name of this route will be team. And then finally, we want to load in a component. So let's import team from, and it's dot forward slash views team like so. And let's register that there. Components is going to be team. All right, so save that. And now if we go to dashboard, let's change this to dashboard. And we'll change the class here as well to dashboard. Now what I'm going to do is just copy all of this, we'll save it, and we're going to paste it into projects, because I'm super lazy and I don't want to type it all out again. We'll change the class that surrounds this to projects. And by the way, we do this just in case we want to style anything in this template later on. We've got a CSS class we can hook onto there, which contains everything inside the projects. So let's change this to projects. And then finally, let's go to team paste that in again and change this to team and we'll change the h1 to team as well and save it so then my friends now we have these three routes set up and the component right here by the way it needs to be team like so not a string so we have these three routes set up we have the dashboard route the projects route and the team route now these are the routes that you have to go to to load in those components so forward slash forward slash project and forward slash team. Now these are also hooked up into our nav bar and we can see that right here. We say the router and then the two property and it's link.route and these things are specified right here forward slash forward slash project and forward slash team. So this now should all work. Let's give this a whirl. I'm going to go to dashboard and we see dashboard over here. Project we see projects and team we see team. So there we go, my friends. That was just a quick sidestep. I didn't want to skip this out because I didn't want you thinking I've just not shown you how to do this, but I'm not going into any great depth about how to do this. Again, if you want to learn more about the router, check out my other Vue.js tutorial. The link is down below. Anyway, now we've got that set up, I'm going to take a look in the next video at margin and padding.